Oh, of course you're using that one. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 noob weapons in video games. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at weapons in both single and multiplayer games that don't take very much skill to use, but guarantee a high kill count, frustrating a lot of others. Show me your moves! Number 10, Cerebral Boar, Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. What might be the most cringe-inducing weapon on this list? The Cerebral Boar is just as deadly as it is painful to watch. This gruesome rifle launches a projectile that latches onto the head of its prey and then proceeds to drill into their skulls and finishes them off with a small explosion, like that was necessary. The best part about this handheld nightmare is that you don't even need to aim as it's able to automatically lock onto whatever unlucky sucker happens to walk around the corner. It's cheap, it's easy, and who are we kidding, it's pretty satisfying. Number 9, Smart Pistol, Titanfall. High-speed games like Titanfall are about two things, mobility and precision. You have to balance your momentum and your aim in order to rack up a high kill count. Or you could just fly around with a pistol that auto-locks onto people. While the Smart Pistol definitely isn't the most powerful weapon in the game, and you're more likely to lose a firefight against an inexperienced player with a rifle, the inclusion of it still takes some of the fun out of a game that demands a lot of skill. Number 8, Fat Man, Fallout 4. Is that gang of scruffy looking raiders blocking your path? Well, you could try your luck at stealth or headshots, or you could just nuke them, literally. This weapon takes explosions to a whole new level and is basically capable of killing most threats in one shot, even if you don't land a direct hit. Even the dreaded Deathclaw is no match for this sucker. The only downside is that ammunition isn't exactly plentiful, and you're more than likely to take yourself out along with your enemies. Number 7, M6D Pistol, Halo Combat Evolved. Pistols are supposed to be close range weapons, right? Well, apparently the first Halo did not get the memo, as the pistol was about as devastating as a sniper rifle from any other game. Boasting a powerful punch and a questionable zoom function, this handgun makes quick work of pretty much any enemy in the single player campaign and can take down your shields in just a few shots in multiplayer. It's not even a pickup like the sniper rifle or the rocket launcher, you spawn with the thing automatically. But it is a must for any player that wants some quick kills. Number 6, Longsword, Monster Hunter series. Monster Hunter is a series that demands patience. If you don't exploit openings and time your attacks, then you're gonna get stomped. Literally. There is a huge variety of weapons to choose from to assist you in your battle against these massive beasts, from the quick dual blades to the giant greatsword. Alternatively, if those are all too hard for you, you can just take the much faster to learn longsword and down monsters in about half the time. There are very few downsides to using the longsword in solo. It has high attack power, long reach, and some great mobility. But its ease of use, coupled with the fact that you can accidentally knock your fellow hunters around with its wide swinging arcs, makes it very frowned upon in multiplayer. Number 5, The Hammer, Super Smash Bros. series. The Smash series is known to have some pretty powerful items like the proximity mine, the bomb, the laser sword. However, the hammer is far and away the most devastating, and it's definitely the easiest to use when you want to rack up a ton of kills. When you pick up this beast, you automatically swing it for a short period of time, and anyone caught in your path suffers a huge amount of damage, which usually results in an instant kill. The only downside is that your movement is kind of limited, and in newer games there's a slim chance that the head will fly off, rendering it useless. Show me moves. Number 4, Farsight XR20, Perfect Dark. Surprise, surprise, a weapon that can both see and shoot through walls made it onto this list. 
a relatively notorious weapon for anyone that grew up playing shooters during the N64 era, using this weapon is basically cheating. The alien rifle has a zoom function that allows the user to view player silhouettes through any wall in the game, and its beam is powerful enough to punch right through those walls too. You'd imagine then that it would take more than a few hits to kill someone, you know, for balance reasons. But nope, it's as powerful and cheap as you would expect too. Number 3, Dark Sword, Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls is known for having an intense weapons meta when it comes to multiplayer PvP that gives players who follow it a huge advantage over less knowledgeable opponents. In Dark Souls 3, many players flock to straight swords, due to their high speed, attack power, and relatively low skill ceiling. The Dark Sword is probably the best straight sword in the game thanks to the stomp weapon art that boasts player poise, defense, and helps chain into a fast follow-up attack. The thing is though, this thing drops off of random mobs, so you don't need a boss soul to make one, meaning many players complained about the overabundance of Dark Sword users when the game launched. Number 2, Deployable Turret, Multiple Games. From the early days of Perfect Dark to the modern day competitive shooters like Overwatch, the deployable turret has always been a reliable tool to obliterate your enemy. It's ideal for defensive strategies, and in the hands of a skilled player, a well-placed turret can keep the enemy at bay almost indefinitely. However, not all players use it like that, and they often set up the machine around tight corners and in out of the way spots. That offer no real strategic benefits to the team, but allows them to rack up a ton of kills with basically no effort. <laughs> Number 1, Grenade Launcher, aka Noob Tube, Call of Duty series. Oh, bullshit. Oh, come on, man. Let's be honest here. A grenade launcher is deadly in the hands of basically any player, but especially in the Call of Duty series. Its high damage compared to the relatively low health pool of a player means that you can shoot this thing in the general direction of any player, barely aiming and you can probably nab the kill. The infamous underslung version of the grenade launcher acts as an add-on for assault rifles, meaning you don't have to use up a weapon slot and you have quicker access to your instant kill. Hey man, people call it a noob tube for a reason. Dude, enough with the noob tubes. Seriously, you're not f***ing good at this game. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.